Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Um, today's craft with me is going to be a box for these delicious Stroop waffles um, that I'm making for a swap. Just sharpening my pencil there. Um, this is from start to finish, so I don't know if this is going to work or not. So um, hopefully it does work. Uh, I will put a title um, page if there needs to be any changes. Because like I said, I'm just going for it right now. Um, what I'm going to do is measure it with the sides pushed in. And we got... Let's see. Oh my gosh. I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with four. Four by three and three fourths, I think. To see with the actually, let's do five by four. That way, we can just easily put it in there. So I want the box to be this. Like when you open it, I want you to be able to see this. So I need to make it horizontal. Okay, so I'm just going to draw out this little box here, and I'm going to go five is left and right, and four is up and down. Now these are about a quarter inch thick, so I'm going to go ahead and do half an inch, because I need it to be that. Alright, so I want a lifting box. So I know I'm going to need the half an inch here. I'm going to need another 5 by 4. I'm going to need some flaps, right? So I need to add a half an inch to all four sides. This one I need to add one inch. So half half, 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 and half, right? Again, I don't know if this is going to work out, but we're about to find out. All right, so that's one, five, nine, ten, by five, <coughs> excuse me, by six, four, five, nine, ten. Okay, we're going to try this out. So you're just going to use, you know, whatever cheap thin cardstock you have. And let's see if I got this right. Mm -mm -mm. Paper trimmer. Cut it down 10 by 6. 10 by... Right, scoreboard. Okay, so it needs to go this way. The um, short side at the top, I think. Sometimes I get very confused on these. So, believe it or not, even though I make a thousand boxes all the time, I still get confused. Sorry, still get confused which way to go. All right, so I know I need a half an inch here and a half an inch here. All right, so, all right, so my measurements are short side, half an inch, and five and a half. Okay. So now on the long side, I need half an inch, oh gosh, and one, and then I need this to be four inches, so I need to come at five, and then that's a half an inch, five and a half, 
and then I need a half an inch down here. Ten. I don't think this is going to work. Okay, I'm going to write this down anyway. So long, half, one, five, five and a half, and nine and a half. Okay. This is my trial and error. You guys get to see it. Right. So I need to cut all the score lines. I do need to miter. Again, this is just your trial run, so you don't have to cut exact, but I like to cut exact. Just so I can make sure it truly um, I need to cut one of these boxes off. I'm just not sure which one. The first one. Because that's going to be my flat. I think that's going to I think it's going to be right. Um, let's see. You know, I just got to be confident in myself, right? And if it's wrong, it's okay. It's just a learning curve. All right, so I'm going to keep this one, cut this one off. Okay, moment of truth. Should have probably made these little flaps a little bit bigger. That's okay, I'm gonna build my box, so. Oh, that's way too much glue. Right. And that's going to go there. And then this. And then this. Need to come up here. Yeah, I think I'm going to change the measurements to one inch. Because, oh, you know why that didn't fold? Because I didn't varnish it. It's semi varnished. Okay. And then here. And then here. 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 This is supposed to be my little extra flap. This is a piece I'm not sure if I need that extra half an inch. If I don't, that's fine. But I'm going to build my top box here. And... Alright, so I didn't need that extra half an inch on the top, but my box is right. All I have to do is cut that extra half an inch off the top. And look at my box. Yay! Let's make sure it fits. Perfectly. Woohoo! Alright, so the only measurement I need to adjust is this right here. I don't need that. So that changes my paper measurements to four, eight, nine and a half by six. And then I can actually take off the score mark at one. 
actually that's going to change all of my measurements right because I'm going to do if I have nine and a half so on the long side I'm going to do half and then I need that to be five so five and a half and then I need another half an inch so six and then nine that's what I need to do. If I choose to keep with the half an inch gussets, which I don't know, that's kind of a tight squeeze. So let me figure it out with one inch. With one inch. Okay, so I'm going to draw my rectangle again because I know I need that rectangle. And again, that's going to be five going left and right and four up and down. I'm going to change this to one inch and then change this again five and four and then I'm going to go here one inch, one inch, one inch and one inch. Right. So five, six, seven by Four, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Well, it's actually eleven by seven, but okay. So let's take out another piece of our paper. Let's see if this works. So we just need a seven by eleven. On the short side, we're going to go a half an inch, or no, excuse me, where did I just put that? We're going to do one inch on either side, so put the short side at the top and you're going to score at one and six. And then you're going to turn it around to the long side, and we're going to score at one, six, seven, and ten. Okay. Long. We did one, six, seven, ten. That doesn't look right. That doesn't look right at all. Because I need this to be 5 inches. And I need this to be 5 inches. So somewhere I math wrong. I don't know where I'm at from because I need one inch, I need five inches, I need one inch, I need five inches. Okay. No, I only need four inches. That's right. So I need to change this measurement to 5 and 6, not that one. And then we're good. Okay, so let me clean that up. So this is actually 1, 5, 6, and 10. Okay, let's try that. So this is just going to go into my recycle bin. Or you can, you know, use this for scrap paper. Um, I'm going to get another sheet of paper. Cut it 7 by 11. This is what I do, guys. Uh, most of the time it works out right. But sometimes I do have these oopsie-daisy moments like I just did. 
All right, so on the long side, one, five, six, ten. Short side, one, and um, six, right? Yep. Short, one, and six. Okay, let's see if that works. It should. This is just like a standard pizza box. You just gotta check out your measurements. Um, I could have done three quarters instead of a whole inch, but um, three quarters is a hard one to math. Well, it's not really hard, it's just uh, one is better than three quarters, how about that? And then with the one inch, I can actually put a little coffee with the um, Stroop Waffle. Okay, and one, two. Oopsies, I forgot one over here. One. There is an app that will do the measurements for me. Um, when you're adding the um, fractions and I do use that app if I'm doing like a weird like a three quarters or a sixteenth or an eighth um, I do use that app okay. all right this is gonna work out perfectly I think I think the one inch was the way to go and so if you want the measurements for this again for the one inch, um, your paper is going to be 11 by 7. And on the short side, you're going to score at 1 and 6. And on the long side, you're going to score at 1, 5, 6, and 10. Cut up all your score lines. Miter the squares, leave the rectangles alone. Build your box, the bottom of your box will have four tabs, the top of your box only has two. That's how I like to not get confused. See there's four, one, two, three, four tabs on the bottom and only two on the top. And there you have it woohoo okay so yeah i definitely like the one inch measurement because now i can put the little stroop waffle and i can put um i have these little coffee tea bags oh and you know what i have to put some coffee candies Or some ginger. I have some ginger things too that might work. Look at how beautiful that is. I think I am going to get the ginger things and see how they look. Okay, actually I'm going to go with these things. Um, La Vaquita Rolls. They look like cinnamon rolls. Because ginger goes with tea, not coffee. So... Oh yeah. That's cute. Alright, I love that. So, if you want to see me make it again, um, I gotta make three of them. So, I'm not gonna go with the half an inch size. I think it's just too small. The, the flaps are too small. Um, I guess it's good if you're only giving the Stroop Waffle. But, with my big old hands, I didn't like that, right? So I'm going to do the one inch, even though that's really cute. So to recap, if you want the um, half an inch one, which I'm not going to make, um, half an inch gussets are 
I'll write it in a blue. Nine and a half by six sheet of paper. And then um, on the short side, you're going to score it at a half and five and a half. And then on the long side, you're going to score it at a half, five and a half, six and nine. So if you want this little baby box, this one here, why are you not? That's what you're going to do. But if you want the one inch box, which I think this might be too much candies in here. Let me see something. It was too thick. That's better. All right. So one inch box. We're going to do, where's my paper? I'm going to go ahead and do the other two while I'm on camera. So, actually I need three of them. So, I'm going to do all three. Alright, so cut these down to seven. So, seven by eleven. One three short side we're going to score at one and six or one inch on either side on the long side we're going to score at one Five, six, and ten. Okay. Next one, one inch on the short side, on either side. So one. And six. And then long side, we're going to do one, five, six, and ten. You guys are going to be doing this in your sleep. Okay, last one, short side, one inch on either side, so one and six. And long side, one, five, six, and ten. So one, five, six. And 10. I feel I score faster using my paper trimmer. Whenever I do my tutorials, I do use my scoreboard. That's just for your guys' benefit. Um, it's not for mine. All right, bone fold. And bone fold. Bone fold. So really, this is just how you make any box. You just measure it and add, you know, whatever size you want. Um, sometimes the horizontal boxes throw me off because I do so many vertical boxes. Um, and sometimes I miss math, like you saw earlier. I scored wrong, but it was fine, right? All right, 
last one to varnish. Varnishing is a step you do not skip when you're doing boxes. Um, you just don't. I mean, you need nice, crisp. Especially if you're using a good quality cardstock. Now, if you're just making like a flimsy box out of like pattern paper, um, you still want to varnish, but you don't have to like do it hard. Again, we're going to cut all these score lines. You're going to miter the squares, leave the rectangles alone. Ignore your email. <laughs> And I, there's no rhyme or reason as to how I cut these up. I just go for it. Um, you can cut your tabs in half if you want to to take out some of the bulk. I think this one will be okay. that other one that I did the extra flap um what did I do with it I wonder if that one would actually if it would tuck in see this is why I take forever to craft because I get distracted easily um <laughs> wondering you know oh could I have made that other one work which I don't even need that other one because I got this one that works perfectly, but you know, I probably will after this video fool with it and then be mad at myself that I took that extra time to fool with the box that I'm not even going to use that I could have been doing something else that I am going to use. But that's how I craft in chaos. All right, we're almost done here with this one. So, the, as you can see, the tutorial takes way longer than actually making the boxes because I'm making three in the time that it took me to make one. It's not really hard, especially if you use your... Actually, it's not an app. I just Google... When I, I just go into Google and then type in the fractions I need it to add, and it will add it for me. So especially at late at night when I'm, I can't, I can't, I can't math. You know, certain times your brain's just cut off. And yep, I have Google do it for me. I like to add what size paper I need. And then, as soon as it tells me what size paper I need, I can do the rest and figure out the um, score lines. And sometimes I cheat and use a ruler and say, okay, well, I need three and a half inches from this measurement, so I just put my ruler down where the three and a half would be, and that's where you're going to score. I used entirely too much glue on that one, but it was clogged. Okay, again, your bottom box is going to have four flaps. So there's one, two, three. Make sure they're lined up. And four. Let's see if that was not lined up. Okay. Top of your box is going to have two. Um, I go back and forth whether I do the top or the bottom first. I mean, it, it honestly doesn't matter. Just as long as one side only has two tabs and the other side has four, it will work. Alright. I knew this one wasn't going to dry because I put so much glue on there. Alright. 
first box done. Tabs in, tabs in. A little bit of glue, a little bit of glue, a little bit of glue. You can use your um, score tape too if you want to, it don't matter. Use your little clippy things to hold these for you. Gosh darn it, that was loud. So as you can see this box I did my top first, or it doesn't matter, which whichever way you pull your tabs. The only time it matters is if you're using directional paper. So you want to make sure your top only has two tabs and your bottom has four. But if you're not using directional paper, it does not matter which is the top and which is the bottom. Not at all. Okay, and last box. Make sure that closes correctly. It does. Oops, you're gonna be about to smush my box all up. Okay, that's good. Okay, and your last box. Glue it. And we're done. You can put your um, finger pulls on there if you want. Like you just take a half a circle punch. And put it on there. Or you can just leave it as is. I forgot to put glue on my other ones. Make sure your glue gets to the the edge of the score line so your box, you know, stays nicely. Alright, um, circle punch. I guess you could do this stuff. I always do this after the fact. I don't you would think with as many boxes as I make, I would remember to do this step, but I never do. Then I just kind of shape my box. To make sure you know it's nice and flat because I don't I really don't like these wings that you get but um, if you shape your box it should be pretty flat that you don't have to tie a ribbon around it all right finger pull make sure this is the top halfway and I don't measure what's the center I just eyeball it I don't think anyone's gonna pull out a ruler and be like oh oh my gosh I can't eat the snack inside because your finger pull is off. Alright, that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Um, where's my mouse?